Establishing new international trade and investment relationships take time and, as well, a personal contacts. Given the um, uh, pandemic, the, the impact of COVID uh, has had on international travel, and you know, I think we've touched on a little bit, but I think we'd like to explore this a little bit further. How can we advance trade and investment opportunities during this pandemic time? And I'll start with Christine. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Certainly, I think that uh, establishing new relationships um, across the Pacific or, or Atlantic is uh, certainly trickier than um, sustaining relationships that were already developed previously, and especially without the face-to-face -face interactions that um, in the past we thought were so crucial to uh, building trust with potential partners, etc., but, you know, I'm going to throw in a little uh, funny comment here is that, you know, um, before the pandemic and certainly with the lockdown post uh, when the pandemic started uh, with restrictions on group meetings outside of one's usual bubble, dating apps, dating app users have exponentially increased. So if it works for social networking, it must be possible to uh, make it work for business co uh, connections as well. Using platforms, as um, everybody who's spoken so far has mentioned, uh, through webinars and whatnot, um, we've been able to promote business opportunities, uh, and it does work. It takes longer, more effort to prepare maybe the uh, information to market one's business uh, or one's interests uh, in that destination market. But with the help of, let's say, sector experts in country to facilitate business uh, introductions or B2B matchings, Trust can be built with potential business partners. Um, in the Asia-Pacific region, which is the focus of our foundation's work, um, there are barriers such as language, culture, and different value systems. But with the support of in-country experts, you can overcome the, uh, most of these barriers. And the savings that your business can make through not traveling to do the face-to-face -face can be invested in getting um, good experts to assist in your business uh, expansion efforts. Um, in 2019, uh, to encourage and facilitate women entrepreneurs to scale businesses uh, by engaging the growth markets in Asia, I led a 36 member women's delegation of SMEs and uh, thought leaders to Japan. Um, our 17 women entrepreneurs signed eight deals in a matter of two months after our mission which is an unprecedented achievement in my view, because through my experience, I have always told people never to expect anything to happen overnight with Japan. It takes years of uh, relationship building before you can come to a deal. But they proved me wrong. Maybe the entrepreneurs were, were great caliber of entrepreneurs quality, and so um, they were very successful. So this the success of that mission led me to organize a second uh, women-only trade mission to South Korea, which was scheduled to take um, place in February of 2020, but the pandemic uh, put a damper on it and we've had to postpone it. Um, and by early spring, it was evident that COVID-19 wasn't going away anytime soon. And so um, because it was clear that women SMEs were disproportionately being affected by the pandemic, uh, we decided to pivot to a virtual model of a trade mission. You know, uh, women coping with managing remote work, uh, re home life, including homeschooling for children, not to mention loss of revenue due to lockdown, was taking its toll on many of them. So this virtual model, um, while I still believe that face-to-face -face, uh, in-market uh, trade missions are more effective um, I think that we can still achieve the business deals through this virtual format for our delegates. We've contracted in-market agents focused on the sectors uh, represented by our uh, women entrepreneurs uh, to promote and recruit companies with complementarities of our uh, women um, entrepreneurs and their businesses. Um, and additionally, uh, I'm taking advantage, we are taking advantage of the government resources that I believe uh, Stephen mentioned earlier um, to facilitate, mar facilitate market access, such as the Trade Commissioner Service uh, from uh, Global Affairs Canada, in-country Canadian chambers, as well as the destination government ministries 
that can provide assistance to um, heighten the level of success in your B2B matching. We've partnered with many organizations with similar uh, objectives as ours, and I think that um, our mission, which is uh, scheduled for 3rd to 4th of November, uh, and looking at our B2B um, schedule, it's going to be a very successful mission. So the virtual model offers definitely an alternative to in-market missions. Uh, given the responses so far that we've received from Korean companies interested in our women entrepreneurs, I'm really hopeful that deals will be signed this time around as well.